Hi, welcome to the Well-Tempered Hacker. I'm Anders Brownworth. This time we're going to take a look at the ADH8066, which is a tiny little GSM quad band radio. It's a little module that you can snap onto a project. I got this from SparkFun. It was about $50. Uh, so let's take a look at it. So here it is. On the back here we've got a SIM uh, card slot and then on the other side there's a uh, little radio antenna connector and a connector to get at all the, the signals and, and send it stuff. So let's, uh, let's start uh, setting this thing up. To begin with here we need to get a uh, SIM and put it in here. Any GSM SIM that you have, maybe you get it from T-Mobile or something. Uh, I have mine here. So I'll pop this little guy in and then snap it shut and that should do it. Um, we're going to need an antenna, so let me get this one here. This is a um, little duck antenna uh, that you can get also for Spark Fun, from SparkFun. I think it's a about 12 bucks to get this uh, little antenna here and then the converter I use to get it down to the tiny little thing that I need to do to uh, pop it on. So let's do that. Kind of goes pretty snug fit there. It's pretty tight. Um, so there's our, there's our radio, but uh, this would help a lot. Uh, this right here, also available from SparkFun. This is actually something that they build themselves. Uh, this is a uh, little breakout board. And what it does is it gives you the ability to get at all those pins in a much more uh, reasonable way. But interestingly for us, we're going to be using this, which allows us to uh, set up a USB serial connection to it. And uh, the, uh, they're going to actually add some more power in if there's not enough on your serial bus, which they're undoubtedly is not um, in order to make the uh, uh, radio board transmit as powerful as it's going to be. So, we'll see if we can figure out how to get this thing put together, kind of line it up, get all the little pins in, and then snap it in there. kind of sits pretty snug. You want to make sure you got the uh, little um, uh, radiation shield pins sticking through the, uh, the bottom of it. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to do. Uh, we'll kind of give it some power and some USB and, and start it right up. So here we have the device and I'm going to feed it some USB. You'll see it fires up and a little bit of receive and transmit lights blink. I'm also going to give it uh, 12 volts so the transmitter has enough power here to go. Um, we'll move over here to the uh, uh, shell and we'll run a, a little modem program here on this USB port and notice we don't have anything so if I press this key give it a little hold down for a second there we go we see some device and then we say we see ready this thing works just like a typical uh, old modem of, of uh, years gone by you can send it AT commands like that uh, and you get responses and what the radio is doing right now, and it just happened there, is registering on the network. Uh, so we can see it's uh, registered as 5, which happens to mean a uh, roaming. So uh, this device is uh, supposedly all set up to go. So let's see what's going on. Let's say AT plus CPIN question mark. And this is going to check the SIM card status. So the SIM card looks ready to go. So AT plus CS. Q, and this is going to tell us the signal quality. It's 22 there. You can see uh, uh, the first value here is 22. That 22, is, as long as that's between 2 and 30 uh, or so, or, or a little higher, 31, is uh, you're going to have enough signal there to do something. I would, I would guess this is maybe about uh, negative 70 dBm or so. Something like this. So. As you might uh, uh, guess, you can make phone calls with this thing. So we're going to say dial, ATD, <coughs> this phone number. We'll hit go. 
And sure enough, the phone rings. We'll pick it up. And now they're talking to each other, although you hear no audio because I don't have anything hooked up on the pins. So I'm going to hang up just by hitting enter here. And so that call is, is hung up. And then I'm going to go, let's try it the other way around. <clears throat> I'm going to just make a call to this device from here. And, oh, same ringing, so say ATH, no, oh, not H, answer, ATA. And now the call is up. And we can talk, talk, talk if we needed to, but we don't have anything here, so I'm going to hit ATH as in hang up, and the phone hangs up. Now what we're going to do is, uh, is take a look at something uh, uh, a little more interesting. Uh, we're going to send an SMS. Uh, so let's do that. So we'll say AT plus C M G F. And our message this is going to set our message type. I'm going to set it to one, which means text. Uh, and then I'm going to say AT plus C M G S as in send. And then I'm going to say 212-555-555. And then it's going to say, okay, what do you want to send? So I'll say, hello there from Minicom, which is my little emulator. So now I'm going to hit control Z. You're not going to see any difference. And then suddenly, there we go. So let's look on the Nexus One, see what the story is. And sure enough, we got a message here. And it says, Hello there from Minicom. Kind of hard to see, maybe. Um, so it seems like it worked. All right, let's try that in the other direction. I'm going to go try this by going here, and I'm going to say just some garbage text and hit send. Okay, that worked. And whoop, there we go. C CMTI, SM1. So we got a message. And you say, well, what is that message? Well, the message is stored on the SIM. So what we need to do is say AT plus CMGL equals all. So I'm going to list. This is message list all. And uh, it didn't work because I did that wrong. AT plus CMGL. Uh, equals all with a real quote at the end, and I have to do that in caps. CMGL equals all. Try that. And there it is. Nexus one. There's an unread message, and there's that gobbledygook I I typed out right there. Uh, so what I can do is uh, you know normally. We would process this message, maybe throw it in a uh, local database or whatever, and then we'll, we're going to delete it from the SIM. So I'm going to say ATCMG delete equals one, as in the first message, because this is message one right here. We can have more than one message all at the same time. So it's going to say OK. Now the next thing we could do is we could set up a uh, GPRS uh, radio and uh, connection and do some TCP and UDP over it. Um, but as I don't have anything more than just this little terminal, terminal emulator here, it's not going to be very interesting. But there is a TCP stack on this device. Uh, so I'll leave that as a, uh, a little project for you to take on if you're interested. Uh, all in all, it's about 100 bucks from SparkFun. Um, and uh, it's a lot of fun to play around with. And that's about it for this time on A Well-Tempered Hacker. I'm Anders Brownworth, and we'll see you next time. Keep hacking.